Hello everyone and welcome back to the British campaign. Last we left off, the damned French declared war upon us, we destroyed some ports, had a nice naval battle over there, which we won at the cost of one of our ships though. Uh, maybe. Yes, we lost a fourth rate, we did capture a fifth, a sixth and another sixth. And we are recruiting two more fourth rates, which shall be ready next turn. So we shall have an armada of uh, four fourth rates, one fifth rate, and two sixth rates to attack the French with. Now, in between episodes, I've been looking at the victory conditions. We need this province, New France. And guess who owns Quebec, New France? France! So, we need to send an expeditionary army. We also want to capture this region because it's quite wealthy. Well, the goods inside of it are wealthy, yes. Our, ours is so much better, but you know. Take what you can. Um, yes, what was I think? So we want to capture all of these. We want to capture all of Fran France's uh, territories in America, but this army is not going to be doing that. We need an army in Britain, because if the French launch an attack on the island, which they probably won't, but if they do we're buggered. Just completely. There's no, there's no other way to look at it. We're just screwed. Because if we lose these three territories, and I think Hanover, we lose the game. Because all of... Uh, oh, actually. And I think the North African territories. We lose the game because all of our overseas territories in America and India become rebel territories. So... What I propose is that we construct a new army in London to protect Britain. We send this army to France once it's ready and we take Paris, Brussels, Alsace and Lorraine, Savoy, and the Rhineland. Probably have to send over a second army just to secure in our flanks and things like that. Then, all of France's territories in the Americas shall become rebels. So, this will be a rebel territory, this will be like pirates, for instance. So, this, and this, and these three here. And once they are rebels, we shall attack and take um, Fort Nashwack, Quebec, Montreal, Lower and Upper Louisiana, the Windward Islands, and French Guiana. And there will not be any organized French armies or resistance, it'll just be pirates and things of that nature. So it'll be a lot easier to take out. And we'll probably just have one army going from island to island or to territory to territory, depending on which one we go to first. Now, let's get on it then, shall we? So let's get two cannons. And get some cav. We are going to actually, once we've taken Paris with this army here, I shall send this army over to Brussels and then we'll send this army probably down towards Savoy and that'll take uh, Flanders and these three. Because once you've taken Paris, their capacity of a naval invasion of the mainland has been reduced almost to a negligible point, which shall allow us to exploit them. But, India, that 
is where things are actually happening. There's a one damned musketman. I'm going to send two regiments to slaughter them. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's 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 what it should be. Two experienced line of regiments lost nine men. That's it. That's all that should have happened there. East India Company is just terrible. 58. There we go. I uh, can't actually attack him. Hmm. Where to strike at next? I think we sh I think we should just take that. Get it on done with. Yeah, do it. Boom. Army punishment. There we go. And construction. Nothing was burnt. Fantastic. See? We kept our troops in order. No plundering of territory. What are the, what are the bloody Marath? 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 Maratha? No, not Maratha. What's the Mughals been doing? This is... This territory has so many resources, it has... They haven't built any tea or cotton. They haven't upgraded their bloody farms. They haven't allowed the towns to be built. Uh, you're being built next. And over here they haven't invested in their industry. Anything. You're an imam, right? I know you're a scholar. Okay, I'm going to just leave that for a second. And make sure we're taxing them, just I want them to rebel. So I can kill that army, detax them, see the army inside, and then we'll have public order in that province. But we won't un until that has happened. So, this army, next turn shall move and attack. Uh, the French territory there and hopefully move to south and take that one and then help with taking Hyderabad and by that time hopefully we will have taken these two with that army and we shall converge on Hyderabad these gentlemen can move up to here there and then up into those territories there carve up India like it's no one's business so uh, research that's good, good, good. We want economical technologies. That's why only one of that's why only Cambridge is working on military technologies. We need better we just need better sources of income. This allows us to build lots more uh, commercial ports and lots more trading good uh, plantations and things of that nature. But other than that it's time to end the turn. Let us end the turn. France did absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Our provinces are good. The French are repairing their ports. Fantastic. They're draining. We're draining money, forcing them to repair ports. And that we shall just smash this turn once again. Ottoman Empire. What are you up to, gentlemen? What are you up to? Not too much. Are you still at war with Russia? I believe so. That war has done nothing. <laughs> Not a single piece of territory has exchanged hands. Kiev is still Russian. Moldavia is still uh, Ottoman. No one's gone through Georgia, so. Nothing's happened. Come on, Ottomans. Stop moving around all your little one stacks. Thank you. Thirteen colonies down to the down to just Maine. Yeah. Probably gonna lose that pretty soon. 
The Mughals. Oh my god, it's an actual Mughal army. It's not, it's not even a half stack, but you know, they tried. Give them props for trying, guys. Come on, it's hard these days. People always judging you. Genoa. Hmm. Okay, anime raid. Aha. So it's a camel gunner and a thingy. We'll just leave them to do their, their thing. Now the army. If we leave, they don't get happy. If we accept them from tax, they're perfectly fine with us leaving. So we should attack this gentleman. And I don't want to lose too many men, so I'm actually going to fight this battle. Because I know the auto resolve gave us a good chance against the uh, that other army of just the Islamic swordsmen, I think it was. But it shall not do well with large engagements such as this because we're supposed to win maybe a hundred losses, but it'll give us about three hundred if we're lucky. Which just is ludicrous and I wish I wish I wish so much. That was an Empire too. It's just <laughs> Empire two would be fantastic. Okay, so infantry. Form nine. Hang up. Artillery. Anemba, general behind. Cavalry. On the right flank. Cavalry on the left flank. Start the battle. Advance cavalry. Advance the cavalry. Infantry. Advance. Double speed, gentlemen. Double speed. Artillery, focus fire on the enemy artillery. Bloody. I hate those cav. Okay, who are you going for? Who are you going for? Gentlemen, bomb square. No, they're doing. Get in the bloody formation. And now they're gonna sit here and shoot us. Of course they are. This is just bloody disaster. Fire at them, gentlemen. Ugh, I hate. This is why I hate missile cab. It's just annoying. Can't we never have a civilized fight against these bloody barbarians? They insist on fighting like savages, so we shall fight like savages, apparently. Cavalry, crush these gentlemen. Artillery, fire at those dervishers. Cavalry, you finished over here yet? No. Come on, break those. Thank you. Line infantry, form. Gentlemen, thank you. Double, 
Double speed. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of friendly fire there. Okay. Uh, guess we're going into melee. What the hell are you doing? Attack him. And artillery. Uh, limber. Thank you. You can go after those dervishes. Uh, continue pause. Uh. Okay. Just knocked a bunch of my lads over. Killed a couple probably as well. Thanks, Gav. Thanks, thanks, guys. Okay, that's good. So, what did I say about a hundred losses? <laughs> they rushed us. I couldn't. I couldn't really do too much. Two hundred and fifty-five. And of course, there were survivors. Uh, it's a fucking lootly. Just, we have to clear them up. We cannot allow them to just walk around our territory destroying the things we're not upgrading. They're bringing us money, and the money we spend repairing this, these troops will not add up to the money that we gain from the st things they're going to raid and the costs of repairing the buildings they have raided. Okay. Gentlemen. Form three ranks. Gentlemen, form three ranks. Begin the battle. Advance. No need for rushing, they don't have any artillery. They have dervishes, levy, and Islamic swordsmen. So, and these missile calf, that's the only missile unit they have. So nothing really to be worried about. Let us speed things up, but keep a close eye on them so that we can pause things when necessary. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Play. Gentlemen, halt. Begin firing. Second ranks. Oh yeah, that's annoying. They don't they don't fire by rank against cavalry, it's bullshit. But there it is. Come on, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, gentlemen, advance. No, no need to run. No need to run. So we didn't take too many casualties. Four, four men. That's 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 perfectly acceptable. I thought I was going to lose a lot more to those gentlemen. Get just into range of these gentlemen here. Please and thank you. They have the Islamic swordsmen behind their peasants, which is quite a good idea because they'll take the musket fire and the Islamic swordsmen are the better unit which shall cut our infantry to ribbons. 
if given the chance. Okay, they moved into position, gentlemen. Fire by rank, if you please. Fire. Okay, well, if you don't need to fire, make sure you reload it. Everyone reloaded? Everyone have shot? Okay, then advance just just a bit. Double time. Here we go. Here they come, gentlemen. Fire at those Islamic swordsmen. Boom. Destroy them. Counter charge. Wavering, wavering, and broken. Gentlemen, please, thank you. Yes, I don't think there's going to be many survivors of this battle. Alright, gentlemen, reload. There we go. Reload. I would like you gentlemen to advance to this position. Double time, fire at will. Sorry this is taking so long, but I I I love small engagements. I do. I and especially when they are actually important. When you have thousands and thousands of troops, they're not important, but small engagements like these are. Gentlemen, you're shooting at the hill. Form. Fight me, damn you. Cowards. Okay, this regiment still has all their shots, so they should be able to fire. Okay, we killed three of them. Yay, I guess. What the hell? What is, what is the AI even doing? Gentlemen, charge. Once more, man, into the bridge. For His Majesty. Okay, come on, come on guys. Just 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 get get charged already. <sighs> there we go. Well, I don't know what the hell that was about. You gotta lose. I don't know why you just didn't I don't know, flee. 
There we go. Thank you. I'd say 50. 50 casualties. 50 to 70. Oh, 46. So close. Goodbye. Hey, gentlemen. You did outstanding there. Now, fleet arrives. Fleet. Aha. Ah, yes, to combat the French. Lovely. Okay, gentlemen. Move into the Mediterranean, please. Now, this gentleman is ready. To move across the channel onto the ships that would be nice okay and the French have dutifully repaired their ports which is nice of them yes skirt scurvy dogs so army Uh, Paris, uh, yeah, why are you empty? I uh, just uh, asked them to surrender, they refused to, obviously, but... Uh, in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, Paris shall fall. I look forward to seeing you all then, but until then, goodbye for now.